Hello, welcome back. I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. Today, I wanna to talk to you about some fragrances that blow my mind. The fragrances in this video all contain my favorite notes of tobacco. So if you wanna see what fragrances blow my mind and might even blow yours too, stay tuned. Tobacco is a funny one, really, because before I got into fragrances, I would never have thought I would wanna wear a fragrance that smelled of tobacco. But the more fragrances I smelled, it became apparent that fragrances that contain the note of tobacco, I was really enjoying and I started to think, I think this might be my favorite note. The fragrances that I love that contain tobacco often are ones that uh, evoke memories of me smelling the sweet smell of pipe tobacco that my, my granddad used to smoke. And other times tobacco fragrances just seem to add a richness and a complexity that I really enjoy. But of course, the note of tobacco alone is, is not what makes these fragrances. It's what the tobacco is combined with. And it can be combined with lots of different notes, as you'll see in the fragrances I'm gonna talk about in this video. What surprised me though, loving tobacco fragrances so much that when I first smelled the raw note of tobacco, I thought, is that it? Is that what I love so much? I started to understand that it wasn't just the tobacco on its own, it was the fact that it was uh, being supported by the right kind of notes. It was being used in a composition in just the right way. So these fragrances, I've got six or so to talk about here. I think they utilize the note of tobacco to perfection. Just a quick mention for a fragrance I've not talked about for a while. I think I, I stopped talking about it because I thought you'd all be getting sick of hearing me talk about my favorite fragrance of all time. From Roger Parfums, that is Enigma. This is the Parfum Cologne version. I've also got the EDP and the Parfum and uh, also a couple of backup bottles. So you might be asking, well, why am I not including Enigma in my list of mind-blowing tobacco fragrances? Well, this fragrance does blow my mind but I wouldn't say that the tobacco in this fragrance is as prominent I wouldn't say it's particularly a tobacco forward scent this is a creamy boozy cognac vanilla scent that's got a bit of a coca-cola vibe just it's just immense the fragrances I've chosen to talk about are ones where the tobacco is a little bit more of a prominent note so if you were wondering why I've not included my favorite fragrance in the list. It blows my mind, but the other fragrances here definitely focus a little more on tobacco. The first tobacco fragrance I'm going to talk about is from one of my favorite brands. That is Tom Ford. We're diving into the private blend. Not with tobacco vanille. This was so hard because I pretty much love tobacco vanille and the fragrance I'm about to talk about equally, but I would just say that tobacco oud wins by a hair's breadth. Both amazing fragrances, both gorgeous tobacco fragrances. The reason I think that I lean a little more towards tobacco oud is because it's a bit more distinctive, there's a bit more going on, it's more complex, I think it's perhaps a little more masculine, although both are unisex fragrances. Tobacco oud has a slightly smoky tobacco, it's really rich and deep. It's one of those fragrances that just smells such high quality. As well as the tobacco notes, there's a note of whiskey which complements the tobacco perfectly. And it's not one of these synthetic fun whiskey accords that you maybe get in fragrances like Pure Malt. This is a proper whiskey. This is like a peaty, put hairs on your chest whiskey. And that combines with the tobacco beautifully. The other layer of this fragrance that also combines with the booziness and the tobacco is it's got a little bit of an animalic funk going on. Not, not too much, nothing off-putting, but it just gives it some punchiness and some attitude. It sort of makes you stand up and, uh, and pay attention. So all those three things are just working exquisitely in this fragrance. Tobacco, booze, animalic funk. It's a statement-making fragrance. It's an attention grabber. I love wearing this. In my opinion, Tobacco Oud is a masterful creation. The next one is a little more mellow and because of that more versatile from Zaharoff, it is the beautiful signature to back. This one makes me think of the pleasant sweet smell of cigar smoke wafting through the air. Nothing too heavy or off-putting, just when tobacco is smoked and it just smells sweet. Or you're walking past a tobacconist and you get the sweet smell of fresh tobacco. It's also energized by some lovely spices and vanilla 
here gives it a creaminess and this creaminess just seems to tease the best characteristics out of that tobacco so it's a beautiful uh, combination of these spices and the tobacco and the vanilla creaminess very high quality super easy going very wearable tobacco scents this is probably one of the most versatile tobacco scents i own and because of that it's so damn wearable which uh, explains why I i've already gone through half the bottle if you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favourite brands, plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. Here we have a design fragrance that actually pushes things towards the quality and the creativity of niche. I love wearing this one. It's Spice Bomb Extreme from Victor and Rolf. Again, this one has the combination of spices, tobacco and vanilla, but it's done in a much different way than tobacco. It's a little heavier, a little richer, and because of that, it works really well in cooler temperatures. This is a bit more versatile. You could probably wear this for most of the seasons, actually, but I do prefer to wear this one when it's cooler it's a perfect winter type of fragrance and i get cozy chai tea vibes from this it's very distinctive very wearable very mass appealing so it works really well in a night out situation it's strong so it's going to get noticed but the beauty of this fragrance is it would work equally as well on a winter date night put it this way if you're wearing this on a date night i would say that there's a good chance that that date night is going to end pretty well. Not just one of my favourite tobacco fragrances, but one of my favourite designer fragrances, full stop. Speaking of fragrances that blow my mind, this next one blows my bloody socks off. It is super strong. It's Amouage's latest release. It's Royal Tobacco, part of their library collection. This is a strong fragrance. Amouage are known for making strong, complex fragrances. Interlude Man is a beast mode fragrance. It's a room filler. And I'd say Royal Tobacco is pretty much right up there with that. Strong, smoky tobacco and licorice lead the pack of notes. And then under that, there's a bit of a creaminess and a fruity accord. I cannot wait to unleash the power of royal tobacco when it gets to the cold months because it's so intoxicatingly deep and intense. I think it's going to work really well. It's going to grab attention. You've got to be okay with licorice because it is quite prominent, particularly in the opening, but combined with the tobacco and all the other notes in this fragrance, it just all blends in beautifully. So this starts off really strong, very attention grabbing, and then into the dry down, it does mellow down a little bit. It still remains a statement making fragrance, but it does soften and mellow a little bit really satisfyingly so actually the dry down of this for me is where it's at so after the first sort of 30 minutes or so you're into the dry down and it is just projecting perfectly it's not smelling too strong it's not an obnoxious smell at all it just seems to settle really nicely it is a room filling monster there's no doubt about that like interlude man but there is a place for these fragrances i get that there are some people who don't want to wear a fragrance that strong that might not want to get that attention but there are certainly people out there who do want to wear fragrances that are that strong and i think a lot of people who collect fragrances a lot of people who are passionate about fragrances we sort of want to get noticed for our scent a lot of the time we want people to ask us what it is we want it to stand out and uh, engage people in a conversation because it's something that we love and it's something that we love talking about that actually happened to me wearing the the latest uh, interlude man the x-straight version i was in a bar and one of the uh, the waiters in the bar as i left he stopped me to ask me what i was wearing and a lot of people maybe thought well wow, that guy's wearing a, a really strong fragrance but this particular guy he loved it he wanted to know what it was because he wanted to buy it for himself fragrances that are sort of that strong and noticeable they're always going to be a little bit divisive i guess but as many people who who may not sort of dig the scent there are going to be people who really do dig it and really do enjoy it so it just depends if if you want to stand out from the crowd a little bit uh, which i think a lot of fragrance lovers do maybe people do want to blend into the background and wear one of those scents that just sort of blends in and isn't that noticeable but a lot of fragrance aficionados want to stand out and they want to get noticed and they want to talk about what they're wearing and when that happens it is a really nice moment i've experienced that so fragrances like interlude man like raw tobacco like a a lot of amouage fragrances actually that have that complexity you're going to get that they're going to open up conversations and people are going to notice those fragrances for better or for worse but hey that's the fun of wearing scents like this i love this this is one of the best tobacco fragrances i've smelled in a long time cecile zarokin did a great job with this oh and uh, i think this is probably easily the best bottle 
in this video. Apologies because this next fragrance is actually discontinued. It's still available probably on Facebook groups and on eBay for silly prices, but I couldn't make a video about my favorite tobacco fragrances without talking about Pure Havan from Moogler. This is probably the, the sweetest and most fun and most youthful fragrance in this video. Awesome for a night out. Honey complements the tobacco perfectly. Often honey and tobacco are notes that work really well together. Honey, again, just brings out the best in the tobacco note. Yeah, maybe it's a little synthetic and it's not got that many natural ingredients in, but I don't care. It is a beautiful scent. So it is sad that Moogler have discontinued this fragrance, but you can still buy the Perfume Parlor version. If you're not aware, Perfume Parlor is a clone house based here in the UK. It's what got me into fragrances and I first smelled their version of this. And because I enjoyed that so much, I actually decided to buy the original version of it. The Perfume Parlor version is very close. It's a really good scent. If you wanna get some idea of how good Pure Havan smells, you can try out the Perfume Parlor version. They're really cheap as well. There is an affiliate link in my description. Follow that in their search box, type in Pure Havan. It will list what their fragrance is. So if you've not smelled the original and you can't get hold of it, check out the Perfume Parlor version and see if it blows your mind as much as it blows mine. Lastly, we have a blinder of a niche fragrance. This one also masterfully combines honey and tobacco and often gets compared to Pure Havan from Zerzhov. It's Naxos. At first, I thought it was fairly similar to Moogler's Pure Havan, but the more I've worn this fragrance, the more I've got to know it, the more I think that there are some quite big differences. One of the distinctive features of Naxos is the lavender, which gives it a really nice aromatic quality that Pure Havan doesn't have. And it also stops the fragrance from becoming too thick and sweet and sickly. It stops the, the honey and tobacco from overtaking the fragrance. It also has some citruses, which really help to carry the fragrance off the skin and into the air and also make it a little more versatile. I could actually wear Naxos uh, in warmer temperatures as well because of the lavender, because of the, the citruses is it all works really well so yeah I could probably wear this most of the year round. It also smells higher quality and more natural than Pure Havan and for me it's certainly stronger this one just lasts and lasts and lasts uh, this is close to a beast mode fragrance for me. I think it strikes that sweet spot between being a statement making quality niche fragrance that is going to get noticed but also it's very wearable it's super addictive I think most people who come into contact with this fragrance are gonna absolutely love it masterpiece from Zerzhov okay that's it I hope you enjoyed talking tobacco with me these fragrances are all amazing I own loads of tobacco fragrances and uh, there are some that I've not included in this video that I absolutely love but I thought that these blew my mind a little bit more than some of the tobacco fragrances that didn't make this video so ones that blow your mind that I haven't talked about in this video what are they let me know list your favorite tobacco fragrances and if I don't have them they will probably end up on my wish list to to grab if you're just getting into fragrances and like me you're unsure whether the note of tobacco sounds like it should be in a fragrance that would be a wearable fragrance don't worry try them out try some designer fragrances that have notes of tobacco in there spice bomb extreme Dolce Gabbana is the one try those and see how you feel about the note and then you can maybe progress onto some slightly heavier more statement making tobacco niche fragrances but don't be scared of the note because it is one of the best notes in perfumery in my opinion it's one of my favorite notes I just love it I hope you found this video useful I hope you liked it if you did you know what to do hit like subscribe if you haven't already and if you do all that i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye